vaudeville theater was once the most popular form of entertainment in the United States. At the turn of the century, the variety show filled with comedy, music, and song offered something for everyone. The Glenwood Vaudeville Review, located right here in downtown Glenwood Springs, captures the spirit nightly in their dinner theater performances. We caught up with founder John Goss to hear more about this special place. Well, I got into all of this because when I was, when I was very young, I started in the melodrama circuit. Um, and in, in, in the melodrama circuit, they always did a melodrama or melodrama. There's many different styles that were out there, but they always did some kind of a pre-show or an after-show called an oleo or a pre-show or a vaudeville. So they would add that old-timey vaudeville half an hour show to the melodrama, which was old-fashioned too, so they kind of went together. But it was a way of adding comedy and music to the melodrama, which was just basically a play, just a scripted storyline and people acted it out, right? So when I, I was much more of a singer and a dancer at the time when I was younger than I was, quote, an actor, and I would be hired for the melodramas, and then I would be performing in a lot of these vaudeville shows. And as the years went by, I worked in probably 12 different melodrama-type theaters, and I would always be the person that I would end up performing or writing or putting those vaudeville shows together. And what started off as music, just music and reviews and, you know, a bunch of Americana stuff, which was great, I came in and I thought, you know, let's, let's, let's give this more comedy. Let's give it more uniqueness. Let's be more creative. Let's come up with other ideas and do more with it. So uh, that's why and how I got into the vaudeville was back in the melodrama days when I was doing those vaudeville shows. And I thought, well, what if I just do two hours of, of just vaudeville? <laughs> And I specifically chose this vaudeville style because the way I look at it, just like they did back then, back in the old days, is anything that was entertaining. They would find something and go, this is great, I'm going to throw it in this particular vaudeville show. So we have a, a core of people, we focus on comedy. I think people like to laugh most of all. But what we focus on is just finding anything that really entertains people. And that can be anything from a straight skit to a beautiful song. Performed beautifully, whether it be with other instruments or just beautiful voices, something powerful, something moving, maybe a tap number. But what's really fun for me is is taking really unique, bizarre ideas. Uh, like in our show, one of the most popular bits we ever do is taking these small bodies. They look like little baby bodies. You get gassy when you slurp it. Keep thinking, it's not very smart. We take parodies of songs or rap numbers, or like we're doing a battle rap between Elvis Presley and Michael Jackson. So we got this little baby Michael Jackson, this little baby Elvis Presley, and they have a battle rap between them. And the visual concept behind the wacky stuff that we're saying and the rhymes and stuff and the whole weird uniqueness of it all, uh, people are truly surprised at some of the stuff we throw on the stage. I've literally had guys say, I've come in again to see what weird thing you're going to do on that stage again and make me laugh. And we're proud of that, it's coming up with real original, unique ideas. Um, and one of the great elements of, of our particular vaudeville review is it, is it is a dinner theater. We specifically set that up because we love the interaction. We, we have a wonderful menu. We serve a bunch of stuff from our local restaurants. So instead of trying to do everything ourselves, we bring in food from six or seven other popular restaurants, soups and quiche and meatloaf and beef stroganoff and chicken and different things that come in from other places, and we serve that here. But it also gives our actors, our actors perform, uh, wait on the tables and wait on the people that come in. It gives them a chance to build a rapport with them. They become friends, and everybody gets to know each other, and then they see them up on stage, and then we serve them drinks. So it's really a whole night. It's a three-hour event of, oh, I get to know this guy, and he's bringing me all my stuff, and now he's making me laugh up on stage, and now there's this aspect of it, now my kids are up on stage, and then they're, so it, by adding the food and the drink, it also is good business sense to bring in more revenue that way, but to make it more of an evening instead of a snuffy, you know, kind of sitting down at your, your, your chair at a, at a dramatic theater event and analyzing 
the artistic value and the symbolism of it all. You know, ah, no, we're just cutting loose and having a good time. <laughs> extremely creative show in the ideas and the concepts and the original stuff we put on the stage. Also because of the extreme talent that we've got here, the, the, the comedic talent, the ability uh, musically, physically, uh, timing-wise, a uh, very talented group that then takes the creative idea and they go more with it, they do more with it. Also the intimacy of the setting, uh, the way we're set up here is very close, it's very personal, you get the audience involved. The rapid uh, energy of the show, keep it moving. Give them numbers that are kind of, I call a, you know, sometimes I joke with people, it's a very ADD kind of show. You know, you're just, oh, what's next? Wow, I wasn't expecting that, and that's very different from the last thing, and this is ridiculous, my kids are dying on this one, my grandparents really love that number, and then it just is, just you don't know what's coming next, and you're just constantly being surprised by the next thing. Usually comedy, but you just never know. And that's, what, that's what's fun about it. What do you think the vaudeville has brought Glenwood, the community? I knew we were really doing something great for Glenwood when I knew that, that we had kind of passed a certain level of biz business-wise. In my mind, in my psyche, is when we started getting people from Denver coming back uh, every summer. They'll say, we had to come back to see the next summer show. We have to come back now. We used to go to different places every summer. Now we come back to Glenwood Springs because we want to see the next show and enjoy the pool and do other things that are happening in Glenwood Springs. Thank you. I'll be here all week.